The Arizona State Sun Devils women's basketball team is advancing to the Sweet 16 for the third time in the school's history. Alicia Davis was able to nail a critical bank in three point shot with two seconds left on the play clock and almost two minutes left to go in the second half. The Sun Devils also shot 13 for 15 from the free throw line, which is the reason why they were able to stay in this game. I just think it's really important because, uh, the, I mean, recently we just haven't been shooting free throws uh, consistently well, so coming out today and making our free throws made the difference of the game, and because we weren't shooting well in the first half, and that's what kind of kept us in the game. And in the second half, things started clicking, but free throws, <coughs> like you said, with Katie's free throws, um, pretty much kept us in the game and almost won this game. For us to step up and make those free throws was, um, I mean, when you, especially when you're not making field goals. I mean, you know, you, you had to, we had to take advantage of it. And, you know, Sophie Bruner has struggled a little bit, and she's, she, for her to step up with that level of confidence just shows you how tough these kids are. Um, and we probably couldn't have scripted it better to miss that one. The Sun Devils will travel to Greensboro for Friday's matchup with number two seed Florida State, where they look to advance to their third ever Elite Eight appearance. In Tempe, for Cronkite News, I'm Nick Lamoureux.